Hey everybody, Dan the Wolfman here. Got a new camera stand. Hopefully it works out a lot better. And I'm going to do a detailed breakdown of Rokas versus Chadi that was posted a couple days ago by Chadi. I want to give you a little bit of background that I've been on both the guys' channels before and stuff like that. And for the people that don't follow me, you got to know where my background's coming from. I want to know if you guys want detailed breakdowns on other YouTuber stuff. And I got to try to do it if I do in a way that's not mean-spirited. But to, you know, give you an actual expert's opinion of stuff like, I don't know, um, AC Mike versus uh, Blackie Chan, where one is obviously way more skilled and more knowledgeable than the other one, and it's not the way they're pretending, um, and stuff like that. And that's just the truth of the matter. Um, so guys, uh, Rokas was Chadi. Uh, I do want to say, please visit, because it's about judo, both Nawaza and standing, please visit my two uh, videos on visiting the Kodokan. Uh, on the past, I've gone with great judokas, not only guys like Carl Parisian, Manning, Gabriel, Gokar, Shevichian, etc., but I've gone against two Olympic gold medalists, Nogi, before. And one was Makoto Takimoto, and the other one was Satoshi Ishii. So maybe if you want me to do videos about stuff like that in the future or later, I'm going to mention a John Machado thing, Hicks and Bayer Armbar. If you want some of these stories, guys, thumbs up, get in the comments, let me know what stories, what do you want to hear about or what famous guys I trained with or what it was like, etc. Uh, I've been on Chadi's channel at least three times facing 10 guys in a bar fight. You should watch that. How to effectively train combatives. Well, first off, you get my four and a half hour combatives and street jujitsu DVD on BJJ Fanatics or EffectiveSelfDefense.com. Please bear with me, guys. We've got to go through a bit, and then we'll get in the details. And our leg lock's crucial for self-defense. Now, Rokas has been a friend of me. We started as friends with a very good interview, not that many people have watched, when his channel was smaller, calling How to Make Aikido Effective. I talked to him very nicely for over an hour, trying to really benefit him, how to actually make Aikido a little functional, but still keep it Aikido, Aki. Some people have problems with my mispronunciation. Sometimes I think that's like... Focusing on the finger instead of the moon. Uh, I've lived in Japan a year and a half, uh, etc. And with the judo names, they get so caught up in it. I'd rather be good than worry about the, is this Yoko versus Tani Yatoshi? Like, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I was also, then I did a favor, Rokas. I filmed me doing Aikido like, because it's all MMA with me, bro. Aikido like uh, takedowns versus punches. And what we did find, if you actually watch it on his channel or mine, um, you can see that against the jab, the head tilt takedown that the FSB and secret police have used and people have used in real life against the leveraging hand when someone grabs you to put a knife or a gun in your face, uh, later after my videos how to do this seagull salute to the head tilt takedown, uh, it was used by a guy in a bar where a guy grabbed him, pulled out a gun, and he did the exact same with more like a, a Muay Thai style knee lift with the head tilt takedown. Not against Manny Pacquiao's jab, but against, you know, a regular guy's jab or a leveraging arm. It's a very good technique to learn. You will find in my uh, Combatives with Street Jiu-Jitsu DVD how to do that. Uh, and then we have Was I Wrong About Aikido? Uh, Aikido, where uh, Rokas did give me and Remy and two other guys, I think, props. And then there's Dan the Wolfman versus Rokas, which everyone absolutely hated meaning him and his trolls because I told them they all suck and their experience doesn't matter and they're not special snowflakes and their opinions don't mean jack because they have no skills and they haven't trained. They're, 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 even even Rokas is a beginner at best. At best. Okay, Rokas was chatty. Let's get in the breakdown. Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, first, Rokas cheats by coming up on two feet. If you want to know why that's bogus or you want me to go into why that's BS when you start knee wrestling, it's okay to post one and do like a lateral and, and take down or chop the knee. Uh, I can tell you my interesting John Machado story uh, differently now that I'm old, my knee's bum, and, you know, I'm not rolling with these guys. It doesn't really matter. Um, then there was a clip of Rokas basically getting the back with a single hook in, so good job by Rokas. I think both these guys, Achadi is a Aikido black belt, Aikido black belt, and a... Jiu Jitsu and a Judo black belt. Rokas is a BJJ blue belt. I think Chadi may also be a blue belt. Chadi, I don't know. Are you are you a blue belt now? You were a white belt. I think you're maybe he's also a blue belt. I'm not sure. Whoa, doggies, chill out. 
Go get some pretzels. Be one with the universe. Over there. I just threw pretzels. Doggies, over there. Oh, my God. Anyway. Uh, Rokas got a mount with good control. His feet were, like, close together. He was basing out. Good job by Rokas. Good mount control. How did he get there? How did he get there on a judo black belt? Should a jujitsu blue belt be beating a judo black belt, which does often happen if it's not a top judoka at a competition school, and it wasn't. That shouldn't happen. Okay? So we'll get into that later, maybe. Rokas uh, then eclipses Rokas is in side control, and he switches to Kesa Gatami, and he gets a straight arm bar with the legs. Now, there was a clip, so it probably took him a while, and he was uh, cooking uh, Chadi, but Rokas got that very nice job. You can hear me talk about it, discuss that technique and similar techniques in my interview with Ronda Rousey. Very good interview with Ronda. Got her to talk about techniques, since all the other idiots in the MMA media don't know Jack about Jack, just like a lot of the YouTubers. Okay. Uh, this is to help you get better and learn from both these guys' mistakes and anyone I do in the future as well, guys. So it is intended to help. Um, why was Chadi flat on his back? People need to watch a black bone judo shouldn't be flat on his back and armbarred like that from a jiu-jitsu blue bow, even a bit slightly taller, bigger one. Uh, like Rogas. You need to watch my two Kesa Gatami uh, videos or my Kesa Gatami Enter the System one hour video. I give so much for free in all my playlists before I was old and beat up. You might want to take a look at my playlist and subscribe to Dan the Wolfman. Uh, and you should definitely watch my um, six Kesa Gatami Escapes video. In that Ultimate Case of Gatami, made up of two videos primarily, there was 55 submissions approximately. Maybe more. I don't know. Guys, I trained with Dan Severin. Case Katami, Head and Arm, Scarf Hold, Gokar, Shevichian, Kyle Parisian, Manning Gambirian. Guy's really, really good at this stuff. So I kind of know what I'm talking about fairly well. Um, uh, yeah, I have four black belts. One's in Jiu-Jitsu. One's in Highest on Grappling System under Judo, Gene LaBelle, and Gokar Shevichian. That's kind of important to know that Judo background. One's in Daido Juko, which incorporates Judo. So, yeah, like I kind of know what I'm talking about fairly well with Judo and Jiu-Jitsu. My Judo... Offense isn't great. My defense is pretty good. Right. My defense is really good. Like I said, I went against a couple uh, judo gold medals Olympians. No gi before. Let me know if you want those stories. From standing then, Chadi did a pretty nice falling or sitting or sacrifice armbar, whatever you want to call it. There was a little itty-bitty mistake for a half second, but it was pretty pretty good and good adjustment by Chadi. Um, then he did the Uchimata, but rolled through where Rokas would have had side mount. Why are you stopping as soon as it hits the ground? Stop the BS judo rules. Judo is a real martial art, and it's all been bastardized. And Chadi, the way you're training it, shows this. And the way you're training uh, shows this. You can't just do the judo rules over here and the jujitsu over here even and think that it's going to mesh together without a pause and bad muscle memory. You have to stick the landing. You have to follow through. Um, it is not supposed to be a big circle, okay, a visual thing. It's supposed to be plant them, hit them with the earth, down into the ground, done. Osoto in the earth or whatever, throw, bang, done, just like in the movie Throwdown. Just like it's supposed to be, just like Ronda Rousey did. Um, so, judo rules have bastardized everything. When you train with people like I did from the 1950s, old judo schools, they knew legit stuff. They knew how to fight with it. They knew Nawaza very well. Groundwork. It wasn't this black and white just throwing thing. Now, it's changed a little bit. The last Olympic, two, two Olympics really have had more uh, Nawaza, more time allowed, and more direct follow-up from the throw. That's how you should be training. Even if you're doing wrestling takedowns. Whatever kind of takedowns you're doing, takedowns in a transitional submission. Takedowns plus 10 seconds. Takedowns plus 10 or 15 seconds. You need to follow up. Um, so, who won that? By judo rules, Chadi won that. By real fight rules, Rokas would have came out on top in side mount. That's a big problem with judo. Turning the back, sacrifice throws. So many, that, That's not the stuff that works no-gi MMA. If you want to know what works, look at my very popular video, Six Takedowns and Throw Drill. And then, when you're at least a blue belt, be careful with the leg lock, Kani Basami stuff. Look at my eight advanced takedowns in, directly in a submission video. Uh, which is quite a bit better than uh, other people uh, out there. <coughs> what is he doing? 
Yeah, you might want to look at the no space and the actual technique in the entry instead of like a billion miles between the hips and the legs and the legs and the hips because everything's about space. Okay, anyway, guys. Now Toddy goes into... Oh, I missed the page. Let's back up before they were standing. Oh, no, that was it. Okay. Um, Toddy charges in with the old school standing Kataguruma. He picks him up. Where the heck was Rokus, the amateur MMA fighter zero and one? Where the heck was his sprawl? I'm training with Conor McGregor's coaches. What are you learning, bro? Where is the sprawl? Where is the hip in pop? Or where is the Sistema style strike with the back of the hand, palm strike like you see Dan the Wolfman do against all these Kotokan black belts? That you miss, that you can't even see because inexperienced people can't see stuff. And the experienced person might see that. And that's all that's needed for a microsecond to break structure. And if you understood spinal structure and base, maybe, you know, you'd be a good martial artist. Um, maybe some of his jujitsu is good, but it's, you can see it's butt floppy jitsu. It's not catch jitsu, it's not catch wrestling, it's not good, it's not MMA grappling. It's flow butt flopping. Flow butt flopping will keep, get your butt kicked. Okay? Um, unless you're the best in the world at it, I guess. But uh, Chadi gets the Kataguruma. But Rokas had three seconds of no defense. His left hand's around. He never takes his left hand down to hit like I talked about. He never pops the hips in. He never sprawls and lowers his base. None of that, which all of those should have been happening. Okay? Quite literally. Three seconds, and then another two seconds as he's picked up, and then dumped. Props to Chadi for hitting. You want to look cool on camera. I get it. That's why I would Kodagishi wrist lock and throw and Juji Katami Rokas. And if I ever go against him, even with a busted knee and body, I will wrist lock, throw him, arm bar him, and do whatever I want to him and throw him around like a little girl. Because what are you learning? And what are you learning from these jiu-jitsu people? Chadi, what are you learning from these judo people? You're learning modern judo BS. Honestly, I have to bag on judo and I have to bag on jujitsu, even though I'm a jujitsu black belt and even though I'm a black belt under judo Jean LaBelle and Goku Shivichian, because you should be learning what works. What we what works. That's what MMA is what works. Highest on grappling system is all the grappling that works. We don't care if it's judo, sambo, jujitsu. We don't care. It's what works. What works is what matters. Okay? So, um, very, very bad by Rokas to just stand there and take it. And, uh, you, I, I mean, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Chadi gets styled points. I mean, good for him. But, I mean, he was having to drive, 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 drive in before the lift. There was so much time to defend it. Um, everyone, stop training judo or takedowns without landing it. Landing it. You have to land it just like a acrobatic person. You got to stick the landing or stick the dive. You got to stick it. Okay. Even a guy who's very good, the first guy to really judo throw everyone the heck out of everybody, Carl Parisian from the same school, Goko Shevichian's highest on grappling academy in North Hollywood, California, where Ronda Rousey was training since she was 15 years old with Manning Gambrian and a lot of other people. Okay. Carol would get rolled through when he was throwing Nick Diaz and other people on his head. Ronda planted boom bang 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 done bang 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 iron bar bang 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 going for the leg lock with the legs from case like Tommy and then transitioning to mark mountain and getting the iron bar pay attention they weren't all the same watch my interview with ronda rousey okay um rokas attempts the grandma's worst ever ippon tsunagi shoulder throw horrible footwork horrible arm positioning and way 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 too much space for outside just like other people with YouTube channels that pretend and fool everyone that they know what they're doing, which they don't. Uh, Chadi attempts a sitting arm bar again, but Rokas did do a better job of keeping his weight back. He didn't squish his weight, uh, which if you want to know how to do that, watch my very popular Rokas uh, Tamiki Keto pressure testing video. That Tamiki instructor was actually very skilled with his center line blocking and stuff, and he had competed in judo and before and came under. His dad was a judoka from a very good old school school and all that. So he kind of knew what he was doing, and he's competed before in Tomiki and Judo, um, as far as I know, Jeff. And uh, But 
I sucked my weight and squished it. So it, this is to help you learn. Watch what Rokas did a little bit better the second time. And then if you really want to learn how to do it without getting thrown, like Rokas got thrown with the foot, watch my Tamiki uh, keto pressure testing uh, video that's popular. Um, who is a, in, literally a paid instructor to the military combatives program. Um, of course, I was a lot bigger, but watch that video. Anyway, um, now, Chadi again makes the mistake of letting go of the collar instead of punching it, bridging his left foot up onto his hips and coming up in a side mount. If you want to know how to do that, and I highly suggest everybody watches it if you're a grappler, learn from someone that trained 35 years. Watch my 10 narrated grappling crazy catch wrestling submissions. I recently renamed it. My 10 crazy catch wrestling submissions narrated videos as I traveled around the world as a brown belt going against a lot of pro MMA fighters, uh, judokas, uh, some, some wrestlers, some sambo guys, etc. My number nine crazy catch wrestling submissions, number nine at uh, in Japan, 7 minutes 35 seconds into it at a sambo class. I would do the sambo, and then I would teach the uh, combat wrestling afterwards, catch wrestling to, by combat wrestling rules afterwards. At 7.35 in my number nine crazy catch wrestling video, you can see where I kind of do the same type of sacrificing thing with my leg, but I punch, and I come up, and I get the, the position. Stop training judo just to get points and end up getting your butt kicked on bottom. That's BS, and you have demarshaled the great martial art of Judo Kano is rolling around in his grave. All right. So, um, anyway, guys, uh, Chadi then had a proper Uchimata where he landed on top, could have landed on punches, landed on his feet, mounting, straddling. Uh, Rokas, uh... Rokas tries two more really bad at Ponsonagi shoulder throws, and one of them, you can see Chadi's right palm kind of hit the ribs. That's enough to stop it. People don't understand what they're doing like I do, and they're doing it instinctually. Okay? So pay attention. It's about physics. Physics, physics is physics, not the style over style BS. It's about biomechanics. Okay? So, guys, if you like this video, please thumbs up, share, subscribe. Get down in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Who would you like to see me make a video on or any stories? Are there YouTubers you want me to break down their footage? Let me know down below. And, guys, everyone stay safe out there. Uh, Chadi Roka's not trying to be hard on me. Just giving an honest breakdown, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, everybody.